Today on Performance TV, Joe and Kathy pick up a Jeep top, seal an old car, and add some shine to a truck. Thanks so much for joining us this week for another edition of Performance TV, where we want to take our top off. I mean, isn't that the main reason why so many people get Jeeps? But trying to do it by yourself is almost nearly impossible, but we're going to change that. So we have Fred with us from Top Lift Pros. And Fred, you guys have come up with a great tool with all kinds of different things that's really going to help us do it by ourselves. Yes, Kathy. So matter of fact, this tool here, in less than two minutes, you can probably take your top off very efficiently and effectively with one person. One person, not gonna have to wait, call my husband or a neighbor over to help me do this. And Not anymore. That's, I mean, that's absolutely awesome. You know, and, and I kind of take a look at the tool and it looks like you've got a lot of things that you've thought about to yes. build into this. Yes, uh, one, it's ergonomically designed to wrap around the rear bumper going into the Jeep and then we have casters all the way around so that you can micromanage it back into place when putting it back on. So you can park your Jeep any place you want and put the top on. Oh, I like that. And you've even thought about, you know, now this Jeep is stock, but what about the people who have lifted their Jeeps? Absolutely. We have a system here that's incorporated to, we have a five hole system, so you can place a pin in a higher position. So if your Jeep is lifted, it'll accommodate for virtually any Jeep on the market. You know, you mentioned about the, the casters as well, and not everybody's gonna have some nice smooth garage floor they're gonna be dealing with, Correct. but with your unit, you're still gonna be able to roll over a lot of different things. Oh yeah, in Florida, for instance, California, we have a lot of paver systems and driveways, and they can be very rough. Sure. This is, you know, beautiful for that. We even have some people rolling it in the grass or some gravel driveways. So all of them, uh, the, the wheel system is large enough to accommodate for a lot of that. Well, and of course, whether you have a, a two-door or a four-door Jeep like we have here today, it's very simple for one person to be able to do this. And I'm kind of excited. I want to get, get to trying this. Yes. Is that all right? Yes. So what we need to do is just kind of line this up any certain we're gonna way. We're going to roll it in. All right. And we're going to yep. come up to about right there. Yep. Let's get up. All right. OK. And then we're going to get up in position and just raise it up to the roof. All and right. And then you're just going to get on and Haul that top off. All right. There you go. And, and then we're, we're just going to roll it. Roll it back. Roll it back. You're going to guide around the tire. All right. And with us having the four-door Jeep, you've actually got some tools, whether you have the two-door or the four-door, for storage purposes. So that way, you know, the top isn't, isn't going to go anywhere. Place. Right. So this uh, is going to be for a two-door Jeep. Then we have an extension for a four-door Jeep. So what you're going to do is, extensions will be put in place. You just simply pop it in and roll it up. Oh, wow. And that's it. That's going to make and a big that, difference. And that is for security in case your child wants to do pull-ups in your garage. <laughs> right. You know, and something else that when I look at this and the way you've designed it, it's not going to be able, it's not going to be taking up a bunch more space in our garage or our carport or whatever because we can drive right underneath it absolutely yeah unlike a lot of systems that are on the market this basically uh you have a zero garage space loss oh absolutely love it and it's definitely easy to use but it's not the only thing that they have for your jeep and joe has more well, now that kathy's gone topless we're going to go doorless and the folks at top lift pros have got some cool accessories to store your doors like this store a door cart it's 18 inches wide, it's on casters, and it'll go anywhere. Plus, they've got these really cool clamps to make sure the doors stay with the cart. Perfect for someone with a garage. But how do you get the doors off? That's the question. Floor jack, block of wood, bunch of buddies, no way. Fred has got it all figured out. Fred, tell us about it. All right, so what we have, we have a door lift pro. And the door lift pro is an innovative accessory that will remove each door at a time, and it's self-balancing on each door. So you don't have to go in and guess where to park the door and raise it to be off uh, kilter and aligning the door to go back on again. So let's see it. Pull the door. 
Look at that, it makes me want to get a Jeep. It is so easy. The folks at Top Lift Pros have the whole system, accessories, everything. If you want to find out more, check out the website. They have got it all. And for more Performance TV, we'll be back after this. Performance TV is brought to you by rockauto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. Top Lift Pros. Now you can live outside the box with Top Lift Pros. Phoenix Systems. Patented tools for the perfect brake job. And by Custom Auto Sound. The originator of classic car OEM Fit Radio since 1977. Welcome back to Performance TV. Now you may recall on a previous episode, Danny from Steel Rubber gave us the lowdown on some of their products. Well, now we're going to do an install on this beautiful 57 Chevrolet, by the way. Now, Danny, a lot of people, they'll go all the way on paint, on wheels, but may neglect the weather seals. Right. The weather seals are often neglected. They're not necessarily the, the, the fun part to buy, like wheels or picking out, you know, your motor and what you're going to do to that. Um, but they're essential for protecting your investment, for uh, sealing out you know, the weather, for keeping your air conditioning in, and you have to replace them. There it is. Now, and on a 57 Chevrolet like this, this uh, seal right here, wind noise, and that's everything. Yeah, that's the only piece that separates the quarter window from the passenger glass, uh, and it's it's one of the pieces that go bad very often. I mean, it's it's really susceptible to ozone and UV, uh, so it's got to it's got to be replaced. Let's get on it. So for this, uh, this is a really easy piece. All it does is slide on. So we can just pull down and that comes loose and just comes right out of that track. Our piece goes on the exact same way. It just slides onto this track. But we want it to be tight. That's part of the seal process. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. It sits right down there at the bottom. Very nice. So this piece is uh, for the front of the quarter window and beneath it there's the hole that the quarter window slides down into. So as we roll this back you can see right here we have our U-jam so we're going to replace this as well with a new one. Uh, you can see it has a brass core so it won't corrode or rust or anything like that. To do this all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. There's a screw on your panel on the inside a screw right on the inside of the door and a screw on the inside of this panel to help loosen everything up. And we've already taken those out. And I notice uh, a lot of times people with custom cars, they don't want to tackle this job for whatever reason or when they do it, they try to make or modify something uh, and it's something that really knocks down the level of the car. Uh, an A car could become a C car if you've used something you bought at Home Depot as your weather stripping. Absolutely. So you can see, you know, this is an original piece. It wasn't replaced when the car was painted. You can see the paint on that. And you can see our piece is designed directly from it. Oh, wow. Very nice. So to install this, it just goes right back in the way we took that one out. It's really quite simple. Um, you know, this is something anyone can do in their garage and doesn't require any sort of professional knowledge. And a little patience, just like anything worth doing. You want sure, to take your time, absolutely. do it right. I mean, everyone who's ever worked on a car has learned the value of patience. That is a fact. That is a fact. And I'm thinking about all the different uh, time and effort that is put into bringing your classic or street rod up to par. And then, if you don't go all the way and use the weather seals, and you, you got a rattling door. Nothing worse. You're out with your best gal on a Saturday night. You want a door rattle. Right. I mean, a lot of people pay a lot of attention to certain things, um, but if your car is being judged, you can bet they're looking at your weather stripping as well. There you go. You like my 50s talk, best gal? Yeah. <laughs> uh, on the way to the drive-in. There it is. There it is. So uh, the other piece that we can do real simply is on your hinge pillar. Uh, this piece has been uh, redone. You can see, but it's actually been done incorrectly. They actually use the door weather strip material on here so you can see where it's getting beat up uh, it's hardly holding on the pins are showing through because it's too big so they just kind of made something a modification a home modification this piece installs in this clip here and then just runs all the way down no glue required just these pins 
pin it in just like that. Oh, it looks great. It's going to seal much, much better. And this is what you got to do. If you're going to go, you got to go all out, right? If you're going to be a bear, be a grizzly. For more information, check out the website. If you got a rod, you got to do it right. We'll be back with more Performance TV. Performance TV coming from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Performance TV. Let's say you have a brand new vehicle or even one that is a few years old. Well, you want to make sure that you keep it looking its absolute best without a whole bunch of work. And that's where we have Greg here with us from Liquid Armored Protective Coating. Greg, you guys have come up with a great system that we're not going to have to wax our vehicle all the time. As a matter of fact, we're not going to wax it at all. Yeah, once uh, Liquid Armor is applied to your vehicle, you never have to wax again. Um, it's actually a pretty simple system. You know, with all of the products that are on the market today, Kathy, uh, consumers, they just don't know what to pick. Sure. And then they buy too many products, and they end up spending a lot of money. And we developed a system where you can put the application on your vehicle one time, um, and it will protect it for the lifetime of the vehicle. You know, I was, I was kind of doing some, some reading on the product here, and we, we talk about the hardness of, let's say, clear coat. Mm -hmm. But this product's actually you know, what, almost twice as hard, hardwise? Yes, yeah. Most clear coats coming out of factories today because of VOC compliance are relatively soft, maybe around like a two to a four uh, in the pencil scale of hardness. Okay. Um, the coating, once applied to your car, can elevate that to a nine, which is the hardest Man. that you can get. Yeah, and so we're talking about, you know, branches scratching or whatever, or people Correct. brushing by your vehicle. You're not going to be getting into the clear coat because your product is going to take care of that. It looks like there's just a few steps here that we need to go through to right. apply it. Yeah, so we basically, we have our kit, um, and that contains the coating itself with the applicator and the microfibers that you need. Um, but before you put the coating on, you want to make sure that you prep the surface appropriately. Oh, yeah, that's got it. It's yeah. first and foremost important. Because so, anything you coat over is going to be permanently there. So you want to make sure that the surface is cleaned. So for, the, for that, we have several products. We have our degreaser and our prep wash. So you'd use the prep wash. That's going to remove the majority of the dirt. Okay. Uh, the degreaser plus is actually specially formulated. It's pH neutral, and it will remove all wax, grease, and silicone from the surface. Um, we also have our fallout product, which is the iron remover. Okay. That's going to remove any of the road debris, brake dust that may be on your paint that you can't see, and it'll have like a reaction to the paint and turn purple when you know that it's uh, actually working. And then we do our detail spray, and then we get into the product itself, and we know that we've really protected the paint on our vehicle. Do we need to reapply this? No. However, we do have our ceramic crystal cream which is a ceramic infused paste okay. that can be used after the coating is done, which just helps to amplify the hydrophobic uh, water shedding effects over time okay. because you'll get microscopic scratches uh, no matter what uh, happens to your vehicle. Well, not only the outside of the vehicle, but yeah, we know that we sometimes have some passengers that aren't very nice and they're making a mess and we don't want any of that. You guys have that covered as well. Yes, especially when you have kids and you stop by fast food, you're reaching back behind the seat, and the kids end up spilling something. Um, imagine if whatever you put on your vehicle wow. just beaded right up wow. and, and poured right off. Then you can just take just a, a microfiber and you can just soak it right up off the, the uh, seat, uh, whatever the surface is, your carpets, and it comes out perfectly clean. Well, so we've got the outside taken care of. Of course, we have our interior. But what I'm seeing here on this bumper piece, I really like that. You know what? Joe has more on that. That's right, Kathy. We've got Nathan from Liquid Armor, he's gonna show us what he's got. All right, Joe, yeah, it's pretty easy. You just load up the applicator with the ceramic coating. Just a few drops is all you need, and we're just gonna do this panel real quick right here. Don't worry about the plastic. You know, that's only gonna help the plastic too, but you can do all the paint work, and don't worry about the sensors either. And then you're gonna let it do its thing, and then just come back with the microfiber towel and Both level directions. that out. Yep, and if you don't feel comfortable doing it yourself, we have a network of certified installers that can offer a lifetime warranty and do it professionally for you. And lots of videos on your website. Absolutely. Yeah, check them out. So this is scratch resistant? That's right. So we have a little panel right here that has the coating already on there compared to a traditional clear coat. And so we'll do a scratch test just like so. So see how that traditional clear is getting all scratched up? Oh, wow. Ceramic coating is not affected. So this is a wave of the future. For those that like to wax their car every week, that's out the window. Yeah, I mean, once you do this process, it's a one-time application. 
and you don't have to worry about any of that ever again. And the look is just over the top. For those of you at home, if you're interested, hit the website. This is incredible. And we'll be back with more Performance TV. Performance TV is brought to you by Stage 8 Locking Hitter Bolts. Learn more at stage8.com. Turn 1. Quality in every turn. Tiger rear ends. Put a tiger in your tail. And by Evaporust. Super safe rust remover. Welcome back to Performance TV. You know, Joe, we're pretty familiar with the entire Blaster line of products. I mean, they've been around since 1957, but they're always coming up with something new, like this entire line of grease. Grease is something that you don't always think about, but you need it. It is absolutely vital, like their waterproof marine grease for marine applications around boats, around salt water, resists corrosion, like the pro-grade multi-purpose grease for automotive, lawn equipment, toys around the house. That is a great one. The extra tacky red grease for extreme applications resists pressure and stays on there. You can imagine in the agricultural fields, it is very important. Then, of course, the maximum heavy-duty grease, mining and industry, they would use something like that, and they certainly get the job done. Oh, yeah, and just like the high-temp stuff, you're not going to have to worry about it dripping and, and that type of thing. But the real star of the show, Joe, would be this, and there's all different ways to use this. What is this? This is cool because it has the PB Blaster infused in this. So, for an example, let's say you're trying to keep something from corroding, or maybe there already is some rust, you're gonna wanna use this line of the blaster grease. They give you three ways to use it. If you wanna use it in the gun, they have that just like with their other part of the line of grease. You can also use it in the spray can, or if you're just trying to get some in a little tiny area, they also offer it with the brush in the can. Now this is a superior synthetic quality grease that you're gonna be able to use in all types of applications. But like I said, it is the first of its kind in the industry because of the PB being inside. Find out about their complete line of grease. Go to their website at blastercorp.com. So we've been asked for years, how do I dip something that is too large so we've got an answer for that. We've got the new Evaporust Gel. We invented the gel this year and now it's available in O'Reilly Auto Parts. It's really easy to use. Tasha's just gonna dab some onto a rusty surface and then just brush it in or take your fingers and wipe it in. It doesn't matter. Just get a good coating on there. It's sticky, it's gooey. It's gonna cover this whole area and it's gonna take the rust off right down to the bare metal. And what's great about it is you can also use it on chrome. If I can get that to unstick. So you can put it on chrome pieces and it works great and it won't harm the chrome. And it'll just get in there. So if you have a wheel that's still attached, it'll take care of it for you. Let's come back and look and see how this does. Sounds good. Okay, we've let this sit for a while. We've actually are able to see the difference right here. You can see before the amount of rust we had and this, oh, yeah. the gel has gone down through the rust without damaging the paint. And the brown color you see is actually the primer underneath the white paint. But it did really well with the surface rust and it didn't harm the paint at all. Not at all. Which is great. And Back here, here wipe this away. And help me out yeah, there, there's so. quite a bit on there. You can right. see that the rust has been removed and the chrome is completely unharmed. Very shiny, very shiny. Gel's available at O'Reilly Auto Parts and Amazon.com. Now, 
not everyone is fortunate enough to have a garage or a carport to be able to park their vehicle in. And when the vehicles are outside, you're dealing with all the elements, trees, tree debris. And where does that stuff go? Right down here into the cow or the gutter. And that's what we're going to talk about today is the auto gutter. Now, what it's going to do, it's going to protect your vehicle from getting all of that debris down here. And you're going to protect your windshield. So if you do have to park outside, you can just put this on. Very simple, only takes about a couple of minutes to do so with these very heavy duty suction cups. You know, and you don't have to worry about the auto gutter going anywhere with the wind, not only those suction cups I just mentioned, but the straps that go around your side mirrors and theft, not a worry because you have your strap, it's gonna go in here right by the A pillar and you're not gonna have to worry about it leaking or anything like maybe some of the other ones that are on the market. It's gonna stay on and it's gonna keep snow off your vehicle. You're not gonna worry, have to worry about freezing rain and it's gonna keep your vehicle cooler. Let's say you're parking out, you know, in the parking lot all day at work. Well, it's gonna protect the inside of your vehicle, your dash from UV rays, and it's gonna protect a lot of your electronic instruments inside your vehicle, like your rear view mirror, which has all kinds of things in it nowadays. But maybe you just want to protect your vehicle and keep it cool while you're at work or while it has to sit outside and you're not so interested in the gutter portion. Well, you can also get the auto cooler, which is going to do a lot of the same things. Now, this is all water resistant. It's also going to help protect from things like freezing rain. So you have to deal with that first thing in the morning or when you're getting off work. Very strong suction cups. And both of these, the auto cooler and the auto gutter, come in two different sizes. If you're not really sure what size you need, well, they've got a pretty big bunch of help for you right on their website. To find out more about either one of these products and how they can help you, just hop on their website at autogutter.com. Well, that's all the time we've got this week. Now, if you've got a product that you want featured on Performance TV, contact Jeff at masterstv.com. And remember, we'll see you next week.